All right, so I'm just in the middle of my piano practice, and I'm like just thinking about it. It's like it's not even about the Intellivision Amico, right? <laughs> it's not even about it. Who cares what's under the hood of the Amico? Who cares that it's a 2016 cell phone chip? Who cares that it's just shovelware games? The only reason we continue talking about the Amico or anything associated with Intellivision Amico is because of freaking Tommy Tallarico. That's the obsession. Tommy Tallarico is the obsession. Tommy is the reason we all wake up in the morning begging for some any sort of Amico news. Tommy is the reason we wake up and we beg someone like Pat, the NES Punk, and Ian to talk about the Amico. It's not about what, because we all know, we all know the Amico is garbage. We all know the Intelligent Amico and its games, which we can visibly see, we can visibly see it. We know it's garbage. We know it's trash. So what we're interested in though, about now is the mind of Tommy Tellerico. What what was what was he thinking? What was going on in his mind? Who who was his favorite cult member? Who was he actually friends with? And who he'd see himself with like <clears throat> playing backgammon somewhere in some back alley, playing around and just having fun. Like who who would Tommy consider his actual friend from the friggin' uh, Amico cult, right? Because <clears throat> we know. We see that DJ Cuck, that piece of garbage with a fat belly gut, right? That guy, retro advisory board, Timothy from Accounting Haircut, piece of trash with his financial lingo. Uh, friggin' Mike Molest, nudging his kid to shut up about the lag and to keep it quiet because they're under an NDA and they can't say anything bad about the Amico home and the games. Like all this crap going on, all these shills, bacon ice cream, friggin' Atari creep, some toothless hobo that looks like a friggin' lunatic. So even though they're shills, Tommy probably wouldn't even like be in the same room with these guys because they're friggin' idiots and incels. Like the, the, the friggin' Mike Molest crying his eyes out saying he's in love with Tommy like 24,000 times. That's ridiculous. Right? That's just someone, another level of obsession. So <clears throat> who is it that Tommy would actually see himself hanging out with? That's the thing. That's what you want to know. We want to know what's 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 it about about Tommy Tallarico. What's the interest in him? What's his personality like? What's he doing literally right now, this moment? He's not making friggin' donuts in his Ferrari, burning out the tires, and then using 10K investments to friggin' fund that. No, he's not doing that. He's probably... Like, I, I just want to know what he does on a day-to-day -day basis. But we know now, right? We know. He goes to these friggin' quarterly yearly backgammon events and to play and, 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 and uh, participate in their competition and try to win. We know that because he, after I friggin' said on video that we caught him and, and, and we found out where he is, the literally the two day after, two days after the videos are friggin' deleted off the channel. So we know Tommy's listen. Tommy, I know you're listening right now. Okay. First thing I want to say, Tommy is your music and earth from gym was really good. All right. That's like one of the best, best soundtracks, even earth from gym too. Yeah, you remix some friggin' classical music that's probably has no royalty-free stuff going on. I don't know how that works, but whatever, <clears throat> all right? Your music and games was good. I'll give you that, all right? But Tommy, you and me both know you're trying to go around to the retro gaming community where there's people who play retro games for a living. There's losers that friggin' play online, like all day friggin' playing retro games and doing all this crap. So you know we know what games are. We even know what Earthworm Jim 4 is, right? Or I mean, Earthworm Jim 1 and 2 is. So, Tommy, you trying to come to this friggin' retro gaming space, trying to shill for this garbage shovelware system with garbage games, and you're saying, oh, it's going to bring the family together. No, it's not, okay? There's way more problems in the world than the friggin' family not being together. See, you there, Tommy, you're rich. You're good. You, you're, you have all the time in the world to do whatever you want. Most people... Okay, the middle class and lower class have to work every single day to make money. We're not like friggin' rabid dude, that friggin' loser in his 30s, leeching off his parents with no job, no car, no girlfriend. That's gonna be 10 years like Darius Truxton. We're not like that. That's the, that's the outlier. See, rabid dude <clears throat> is a perfect example of somebody who would play the Intellivision Amico. Some artistic short bus riding prick. We get it. That it friggin' caters to. But most people are not going to sit there and bring the family together playing friggin' Amico when their daughter is on friggin' Snapchat doing these stupid Snapchats all day, when their son is friggin' simping to friggin' other women on Instagram getting no replies. Like, this is not going to happen. There's many more things in the world that we need to friggin' focus on instead of a family-friendly entertainment system. What was your acronym? SAFE? Uh, what was it? SAFE, uh, safe, affordable, 
friendly entertainment. That's what it was, right? <coughs> so friggin' stupid. Yeah, safe, safe my behind. You got Mike Blessed nudging his kid to shut up in the <laughs> Hey Mike Molest, I, I heard I saw your little Discord comment there in the in the Amico Home Discord where you're saying literally Mike Molest is in the friggin' Amico Discord and he's saying something like, Oh, you know, I am gonna say it one more time, uh this, that, this, that, and, he, and then he's like then he's like, Yeah, I've seen some people on the Reddit screenshot my messages in Amico Discord and friggin' use it for their own entertainment. And then Mike Molest is like, I don't know why I do it. I don't know why I fall into this trap. Yeah, Mike Molest. Hey, guess what, buddy? I'm gonna go from the beginning of to the Amico Discord all the way to the present time and screenshot every single thing you say. How about that, huh, prick? What are you gonna do then, huh, idiot? You're gonna copyright strike that? Yeah, I wanna see you try that, prick. Yeah, you can't copyright strike it because it's my own friggin' screenshot and my own friggin' material and I'm talking right now, idiot. All right, if you friggin' make a message that you're about to take a dump and drop a deuce in a diaper like Prince of Diapers, I'm gonna screenshot it. If you're gonna say you're gonna nudge your kid again to shut up, I'm gonna screenshot it. If you're crying on the internet in the Amico Discord defending a shovel or a foot bath, I'm gonna screenshot it. If you're in the Amico Discord saying that you love Tommy for the one millionth time, I'm gonna screenshot it, idiot. All right, you can't do anything about that. Yeah, I'm lurking in there. What are you gonna do about it, prick? God, he's so stupid. He's so arrogant and stupid. It's ridiculous. Like, dude, we're the retro gaming community. We can clearly see what games are good and bad. And you're sitting there, Mike Moles, creaming your pants, having a circle jerk with freaking bacon ice cream and Tommy Tallarico on a stupid little live chat. It's freaking ridiculous. All right. It's a Tommy Tallarico obsession. That's what it is. We're not even selling the Amico anymore. We're selling the friggin' Tommy. That's what Ian said on the Pat and Ian podcast. He said it. He said, he's like, we're not even selling the delivered Amico. We're trying to sell Tommy Tallarico to the masses. Why? Because he's someone that's never failed, right? Remember his thing? Remember his, uh, remember his, uh, his pitch deck to friggin' whatever the companies and it's like lifetime achievement award. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> It's just a lifetime achievement award with no specification, no like not getting specific at all about what you're talking about. Literally just says lifetime achievement award. <laughs> what a being a greasy leprechaun hopping around from friggin' stream to stream, defending the Amico. Anyone who has anything to say about the Amico, you're there in the comments like, hey, let's just do an interview. Friggin' getting their hopes up for some, maybe some clout, maybe maybe some D-list celebrity, Tommy Tallarico can come along and bring some clout to the channel. In my opinion, I put friggin' Tommy Tallarico at like B-list, B. You know why? Because he is, Tommy Tallarico is important in the uh, retro gaming community. He is important in video games because he does have the friggin' uh, the Guinness World Book of Records for working on the most video games. I believe that, that's true. That's 100% true. I put him as a B-list. Okay, Tom, okay, in the friggin' retro gaming space and like video games, I put Tommy as the A-list celebrity. He is. He was on Electric Playground goofing off. He was in like Earthworm Gym with one of the best soundtracks ever. Tommy Tallarico is an A-list celebrity in the friggin' video game space. Garen Damteed. Name me someone else that's a bigger celebrity than Tommy Tallarico. Nobody. Nobody at all. It's Tommy, okay? Tommy's the one that everyone wants at their video game because he's so charismatic. Charisma, charismatic. He's funny. He's charming. You know, he makes friends with everybody. He's hip. He dresses cool, rad. He's freaking air guitaring. He's like a rock and roller. He is a cool guy. I don't care what anyone says. That is why the friggin' Amico was so, excess, so successful when it came to friggin' marketing. It's because they had Tommy right at the friggin' helms. All right? Shill Adam failed with that friggin' guy on the Coleco Chameleon, which I can't remember his name is. Then in comes Tommy, right? Some grade A, class A marketing guy. Greased back hair. <clears throat> dyes his hair black with Just For Men, the same Just For Men that friggin' Pirate Trip Alvarado uses on his friggin' ridiculous mustache that he has. That's what I'm saying. 
Tommy, it's the Tommy obsession. It's the Tom, like I literally ranted right now. I didn't even say anything about the specs. <laughs> I didn't say anything about why Shark Shark sucks. I didn't say anything about why Whistle Command is a friggin' embarrassment. I didn't say anything about LED light show and plastic foot bath and 20, like I didn't even go into detail. All I talked about for 10 minutes right now is Tommy Tallarico. <laughs> That's all I did. I just friggin' talked about Tommy Tallarico and proved that it's, it is the Tommy Tallarico obsession that we were all interested in from day one.